What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today you join me for a little vlog. Uh, I'm actually parked up in Luton Services right now, just having a little coffee break. About to go meet Calvin's Car Diaries. He's actually a car trader and a YouTuber and he's been kind enough to loan me a car for a few weeks. So it looks like I could possibly be taking a Honda Civic, the FK2, I think it's a 2015, 2016 model. Uh, he's gonna let me take it for a few weeks to go have a bit of fun make some content on i also thought it'd be a cool opportunity to talk to him about potential cars for me to buy i told you i'm going to be um dropping a car at the end of this month so so as always i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in a sec so guys we've got the cameraman back this is some good 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 stuff shaky cams back no, no, but for real, we got the uh, cameraman back, so yeah, man, I told you, like, this month I'm about to switch everything up. And I'm not going to lie, man, pretty excited. Hoping to play a few games with you lot, like, where you lot can maybe choose which car I should take, you know, every week, for example, you know. He's saying I can take the cars for X amount of time. He's got vans, he's got mercs, he's got everything. And like, Danny thinks he can drive in that, yeah? Which way? Going right. I know a lot of you want to know what I'm going to be buying. Um, just stay tuned for the video. Yeah, I ain't done this vlogging thing in a while, man. Obviously, ideally, I should be in the driver's seat. Trust me, you see man like Calvin, yeah? Guy's a baller, right? He's with these sort of roads, bro. So if you're wondering what car we're in, we're in an SLK 320. Man bought a 320 as a daily driver and that. Just burning bare fuel. Should have bought a diesel, bro. Calvin, you know. Ricky, you right, yeah? <laughs> what are you saying, man? You good? Yeah, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Welcome back to Living Life Fast, baby. Back on the channel, you back, back on the channel, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how you been, man? Right? Yeah, I've been good, yeah, just keeping on it. You know, it's like... You've been swagged, man. <laughs> Shit. So, you're moving. I'm cold. Jeez. <laughs> cold, 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 cold. So, um, yeah, how you been? I've seen the channel's yeah. been doing... Yeah, better. no, the channel's doing so well. Like, it's, I've started doing this diary of a car trader yeah. thing, and yeah, people are loving it. So, man, just happy. car hopping, car hopping, literally <laughs> one day I'm in this car, one in the day, and next. Well, you're a car, car trader, aren't you? Yeah, like, that's yeah, job, yeah. Right? So that's basically what I do for a living, and what I do is I just film as much of it as I can uh, mm. for YouTube. So yeah, yeah, yeah I've just been. Filming how on how it. many cars you got, man? Jeez. Obviously, I've already told my channel that we was gonna potentially like I don't know start getting out in a few cars. You was gonna like borrow me this car, yeah. for example, was you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got cars they're sitting around ricky likes to have fun in cars you lot all know that so i'm gonna just chuck uh, keys cars keys to cars to ricky yeah. and let him just take a pick and i thought well ricky thought a good shout might be you lot picking which car he should be taking home with him yeah so, so obviously today i think what we saying we're gonna take the civic back today on the yeah yeah civic? so you can take the civic today that's fine um, there, there is a little secret about this car as well right yeah yeah so it's not a normal civic bit of a negative point really <laughs> but positive for some people maybe uh, it's actually a replica so it started off life as a, a 1.8 just a standard 1.8 se civic and it's it was in an accident a couple of years ago uh, quite a bad one apparently so it's like a cat c not not ideal but um it was rebuilt as a type r fully rebuilt from the ground up as a type r so it's uh got the the wheels the brakes the body kit um it's got the engine right it's got the engine <laughs> <laughs> two liter turbo engine 300 brake horsepower it's got the gearbox as well six speed manual it's got the whole interior so wow that's it's, unbelievable, it's, it's unbelievable you, yeah. you, you would never know but is there anything like i don't know maybe some people might plop some panel gaps but for me you would never have a clue that this was not originally a Civic Type R. Do you know what? It drives so well. So like, honestly, I've never driven a, you've driven a Civic Type R before, yeah. so you'll soon suss out yeah, whether exactly. it drives as well as a, a proper one. But uh, Don't pull to the left or anything, does it? No, don't do none of that. <laughs> no, it's actually, no, it's really, it seems to be a pretty good job. Obviously, like you said, it ain't perfect. Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. There's some little imperfections. One thing that um, definitely needs doing is it needs some front tyres, and that's a pretty standard front wheel drive sports hatch thing. But um, We're going to go do that shortly, aren't we? We're going to go do that today. Oh, it's too cold, Calvin, man. No. Gee, so um, yeah, inside's basically yeah, yeah. So there's nothing, is there, to yeah, tell? It just continues on, like steering wheels, the whole interior. You know, I think the SE. So it's, like I said, it started off as a Civic SE, 
I think they come pretty well specced anyway. So it's got like a, a sat nav unit in the middle. It's got reverse camera and just all like the, like pretty good specs. So, uh, but yes, yeah, it's, it's turned out to be a really nice car. Mm. So, so what we're going to do then? So we're saying that I'll just take this for what a week or two or whatever. Whatever, yeah, yeah. Take it, do what you want with it. And yeah. then maybe next time I come up we could choose something else or we try to get the audience involved like you know yeah, they may whatever. say they want me to drive home in a sprinter or something you know yeah they are they, they, and that they will decide. happen i reckon <laughs> people are going to wind you up say yeah jump in that old transit or something isn't they but yeah yeah, yeah it's a good shout i think no no but see. thanks as well calvin honestly really appreciate it man, man you're like, welcome man you know i'm driving around been driving a diesel for a while now so i'm pretty I excited and obviously i've got the new car as well got the new soon. car coming maybe we need yeah. to have some yeah we have to that. yeah i thought that we could have a discussion about that with talk about that on your channel so make sure to head over to calvin's channel now we're literally going to go get the tires changed and um i'll probably meet you guys back at home where i'll continue this video so so it's been about 10 days since filming with calvin uh, now, I've been trying to think of a few ideas of what to film. It's literally about to get dark as well, so I'm going to shoot this really quick. I thought, why not just shoot a video on what it's been like to live with for the last 10 days? So, I've not been driving it day in, day out, but we'll also talk about Honda. We'll talk about the, the uh, specs of the car. We'll also touch on the fact that this is a replica. So, yeah, let's do this. So, Honda Civic Type R. It's a FK2. Uh, it was released in 2015. Uh, stop production in 2017 when a new FK8 was released. Uh, you get a 2 litre turbocharged VTEC engine uh, producing 306 bhp, 295 foot pounds of torque. Uh, it's actually front wheel drive with a mechanical limited slip differential. Anybody that's a little into their cars, they'll know that this car did the Nurburgring ring and I think around 7 minute 50, which is a very, very fast lap time. I think the new FK8. Uh, which was released in 2017 that is now the fastest front wheel drive car on the Nürburgring I think it did it in a 743, 740, I don't know uh, Sideways Sid did a video on it recently but it's the fastest front wheel drive car on, on the road basically that's 60 and about 5.7 seconds that's a top speed of 168 miles per hour and uh, it weighs around 13.80 kg so it's not the lightest and it's not the heaviest. So guys, this ain't gonna be a review. I'm simply just gonna speak my mind on what it's been like driving this car. And the first thing to note is, this car is very uncomfortable. Um, every day I picked up Emma, she's like, what the hell, like this is so uncomfortable. Obviously there's a trade-off. This car is a very, very capable car. It almost takes your breath. Like even now, the road is very smooth, but it's just giving these little micro jumps. Pretty annoying, you know, I could live with it because of the capability of the car. But for some people, I can definitely see them not enjoying the ride. And this is in its most comfortable setting. So over here, you've got an R button, which makes the dials all go red. And uh, it just gets so much worse. This is not like sitting in an Audi or a BM. Uh, this car is set up to drive fast, basically. The steering wheel, you get a nice grip on it. Um, you get a decent amount of feedback. It's a really easy car to drive. The clutch has got a nice weight to it and it's not super sensitive. Like now when you put your foot down, there is a bit of turbo lag, but can you hear the induction? Sounds beautiful in this car. Another thing to note is this car only comes in a manual. So just goes to show you the mindset on Honda. Uh, they are, I would say, purists. I'm not a sheep, I'm not a follower. I know a lot of people have got negative things to say about the Civic. Uh, mainly due to its looks it does look a little crazy uh, but personally me waking up every morning and jumping in the car i i, I love the sight i love the sight of this car um, i get why people wouldn't like it but you've got to remember that everything on this car does serve a purpose it hasn't got these crazy wings and it's crazy body kit for no reason this car really does put the numbers in it's literally a dream to own a diesel like you never have to worry about fuel uh, in this car immediately you just have the petrol station every second uh, and that's not even, you know, that's just the difference between diesel and petrol. If you drive it smoothly, it can definitely be fuel efficient. Cabin quality, I mean, it's not that special inside. I suppose it's nice for a Japanese car. Um, but at night, with all of you guys know I like the ambient lights and stuff, this car, it's like you're in a cave. There's nothing going on. Like, you've got these little lights in the uh, door cards and uh, even this infotainment system. I don't know what's going on here, but... It's definitely not anything like it's German rivals. Uh, but I mean, it's it's not that it feels cheap or or, or or crap quality. It's just the design isn't nice. 
front wheel drive cars are normally set up in a way that uh, it almost gives you a false sense of confidence. People are able to drive them really fast because there is no danger of the rear coming out. But when you step into a car like this, or the Megane, or even uh, like the Club Sport GTI-S, they're, they're different, different animals, man. You can easily write them off if you don't know what you're doing. And when you start going a little too fast, like you know when you hit a roundabout, you start building up speed. With this car, if you let off the throttle, the back will easily step out. But this car, how responsive it is and, and how flat it stays around corners, and especially when you press the R button, this car is completely glued to the road. Uh, it is annoying front wheel drive. Like I, I do love the characters of all types of uh, drivetrains, but even this car with only 306 bhp you can feel those front wheels just squirming around by like, like now it's a bit wet you know like under full acceleration it does just it just waves from left to right uh, it's just a normal thing you get used to it if it was your own car you kind of adapt uh, but you don't get that with four wheel drive cars or even rear wheel drive cars the car will stay in a dead straight line as I mentioned, this car does a 7 minute 50. No, but the lap time, see it's really, really stiff, man. Uh, it does a 7 minute 50, I think this one did. Correct me if I'm wrong, someone in the comments is probably saying, Ricky, what the hell are you on about? But I know it's uh, as quick as an M4, this one and the new one will basically kill an M4 in the notebook, which, which in my opinion, that is crazy. Like, guys, this is a 30,000 pound hatchback that beats an M4 on a track that benefits cars with more power so that just tells me that if i'm around town or or even on a shorter circuit what is this car going to do to its opposition then you know that's the magic with this car in my opinion that's why i fully rate honda and i rate any company that prioritizes driving dynamics and the looks they're crazy but i don't feel they're that bad man honestly like seeing it with your own eyes and i know the internet you've got a load of kids that just comment talking rubbish but Yeah, I love that sound as well. I don't know if that's to be like, yeah, like with this weather, it's a little bit dodgy. It will push wide pretty easy. You just got to jump straight into an understeer. Oh. But it's very fast, very, very fast. See, like now, it's not responsive. There's a bit of lagging. Let's put it in uh, R mode, see what happens. See, straight away. sounds, induction sounds are just beautiful man. I've never heard a factory car have an induction sound like that. This car is originally a 1.8 Civic, uh, but every single part in this car has been switched to obviously Type R parts. And I'm telling you like, from the little drive I got in the uh, Type R previously, the blue one, the one I featured, it feels exactly the same. One thing I've noticed is at high speed, and this could be down to wheels, tires, it could be many things. I've noticed that when I hit a dual carriageway, I'm talking about not talking, doing anything stupid, but just building a bit of speed, you know. Um, you feel it wander a little bit at the rear, and I'm not sure if that's because it's not originally a Type R. But one of the main reasons why I would buy this car is just for the fact that I know that any car that sits in front of me cannot get away from me. Okay, longer straights, of course, it's not got quite the power of some of the rivals, but as soon as a corner comes, no car can get away from you basically. I was almost having a little debate with someone the other day saying that this car will be your Evo 8. You know, if you put two professional racing drivers in the car, the Honda's quicker. So guys, I'm going to end the video there because it's getting way too dark. Uh, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And make sure to check out Calvin's channel as well because he filmed uh, something for the day. And uh, I'm actually talking about my new car on his channel as well. So if you don't want any tips or any... Uh, more information on that subject uh, definitely head over and uh, by the way uh, at the time of me speaking I've actually bought the car and it will be getting revealed uh, hopefully like next week sometime so see you later guys